you know, we use computers every single day, but we don't always know what's really going on inside. And I felt like creating a Back to the Basics series. You know, let's go back down to the fundamentals and really talk about what's inside a computer. You know, what, what are these pieces that make up a computer? We all use computers every day. They're part of everything we do anymore. And I really wanted to dive into the components and show you a little bit more about your computer that you may not even realize or may have been confused on various terms that you've heard over the to oh, you know in the past or just not familiar with you know what really is a computer because these devices we use to surf the web and check YouTube videos all qualify as a computer of some sort you know, I've got your desktops, you know, the desktop computer, the laptop computer, you've got your tablets and cell phones, all really qualify as being a computer. But what I want to talk about first is this box here that contains all the components. And every one of these units also contain um, these same pieces. So let's start with the basics, right? You got your CPU, Central Processing Unit, also known as the uh, the processor within the system, right? This guy is really the brains behind the whole operation. Every instruction and every action is really handled by one or more processors within your system. And the processor's workspace is the memory or the RAM that you put in the system. You know, it's really just a stick with a series of chips on it that is basically the workspace scratch pad for the processor to do all of its heavy heavy lifting and the hard work. And your computer, if it's a laptop or a tablet, will have, you know, it may even have multiple sticks of RAM. You know, it's not uncommon for machines today to have four gig or eight gig or more in RAM so that you can run more programs and applications at the same time. You know, another key component is actually the hard drive within your computer that physically stores all your files and folders. The hard disk drive, this here is RAM, and you know, these are core components in every system. The hard disk drive is where all your files sit when they're at rest. But when you want to work with a file, that's when these other comp that's where the RAM comes in play, where this file gets pulled off the disk and shoved up in RAM so the processor can work with it. And when you save it, you're putting it back on the disk to preserve your changes. And that's the thing with RAM is it'll hold stuff as long as the power is on and as soon as it goes to off, um, the memory basically clears itself. So anything you don't save disappears. But the disk, it doesn't matter. It will always keep the files on it. Another common type of disk, instead of the hard disk drive, is the solid state disk, or solid state drive. SSDs is the common referred to. These things are super fast compared to your spinning, your spinning platters that exist in the hard drive that are in here. 
So this ulti is just a bunch of chips that are able to be accessed very, very quickly um, in fairly any random order. Where the disk, it has to spin all the way around many times to get to your pieces of data. So where this hard disk may be able to get like like 70 uh, megabit a second, the SSD could easily do 250 to 500 megabits a second. Very, very fast. Um, if you're buying a system today, you want an SSD in there. Just the uh, most thing for the dollar you could spend on a system to get that solid state. But it still serves the same purpose. It holds files so that your RAM can use them. And then another common component that holds all this together is really the motherboard. All this stuff sits and connects to the mother, let me say that again, it's to the uh, mother, motherboard. This is really all the connectors between the components so that they can talk to each other on this board or this bus. It's really the channels of the communication that holds all these pieces together. So when somebody points, looks at their tower, and they call it a hard drive, well, I know they mean it's the computer, but your hard drive is this little box right here on the inside, right? And one more component while we're talking about it, and it's usually an add-in, or it's a, on the edge, but it's the, uh, the Ethernet port that plugs into, that your networking plugs into to get you access out to the Internet. And if you store files out here and you download them or pull them in, they come in, they sit on the disk as a cache, they get loaded into RAM so the CPU can work with them. And that's how all these components tie together.